Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of Breath of the Wild. So, this is what my inventory is looking like after cooking. Fairly basic, but then comes all of the food that I've just mass produced. There it all is. So now that that's all done, let's keep heading up to Zora's Domain and maybe actually get there at some point. Just a random, random arrow there for some reason. Now I'm expecting... As we're going uphill and there's this boulder here, it's making me think that there's going to be more boulders up ahead. Which are probably going to be, yep, oh my goodness, get out of the way. Goodbye. I'm just going to walk back up to the path and hopefully nothing's going to randomly head towards me. Hopefully, probably, I'm fine. Oh, I'm so fine, so fine. I can even climb this rock and jump over it like that. That's a big rock. Just, you know? I like that boulder. It is a nice boulder. Oh, I can hear you. Hello. Was that enough? No. Not enough. Uh, which one? That one. And there we go. Looks like he had a different type of weapon on him. A Zora spear. Just gonna take a picture of that, just like that. And I might even take that with me. This spear is Azora's weapon of choice. It's lighter than it looks due to being made from a special metal and is used by the Zora for both fishing and protecting their domain. So we have that now, but we just don't want to use it when it's a lightning storm. Let's keep heading this way. There are so many rocks in this trail and I hope that none of them are Koroks because otherwise I'm gonna be here forever. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, my goodness. Let me just blow you up, maybe. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh my goodness. Is he still alive? Yes. Somehow. Oh, there goes my bow. Okay. Just, just dodge everything and then hit him. It's everything's fine. Cool. That's a Lizzo spear. I've already taken a picture of that. Cool. And I've got a Lizzo boomerang as well. I'm pretty sure I've already done that. Okay. Blop some of these boxes to hopefully get some more materials for, for cooking. Since I've just burned all of mine. Pretty good. It's very windy over here. There's also this thing over here that we can read. History of the Zora, Part 1. The Eternal Zora's Domain, as told by King Dorfan. The rains have blessed Laneru since ancient times with an abundance of pure clean water. Seeking a bounty of such water the Zora gathered there. Thus, as the legends go, the domain was born 10,000 years ago. The land w was also rich in ore, and so a unique form of stone ma masonry was developed to create our new home. The domain is one giant sculpture, a feat of architecture, a feat of architecture, that has drawn admirers the world over. Our great domain will ever stand as a hallmark of the esteemed artists who made it an eternal symbol of Zora Pride. Very cool. Oh, I don't have a bow. Well, that worked, I suppose. He's got more health, although this bow is probably just not great. Oh, he's got a... He's a blue, I think. Is he blue? Oh my goodness. I think he's blue. Yeah, he's a blue. Dabba dee dabba die. Well, that's unfortunate. He was strong. Okay, really? I really have to do this again? Okay then. If 
Finally, I had a bow. That's not what I was trying to do, but it works. Oh, please. There we go. It really does just seem to work if I just slam my face into everything. Anyway, this stuff looks different. Reinforce lose our shield. Let's grab that. This Lizao's shield has been strengthened by adding a different type of metal to the mix. The edge is lined with spikes, so handle with care. Okay, cool story. Anyway, let's have a look at this guy over here. Just like that. Let's just keep walking. It's so peaceful when I just obliterate everything in my path without any real reason. Other than the fact that they annoyed me. It's gonna grab some of that. I suppose, suppose, I suppose. Oh, there's a fox here. Just gonna take that out. And hey, another guy to f say hello to. Did he just pick up a rock? I didn't know they could pick up rocks. I guess I usually kill them too fast. Anyway, there's a little side area over here which is cool. It looks like there's something down there. I don't know if I should do this right now or not. Should I jump off? Because it's going to make it difficult to get back up again, but I don't know. Might as well. I just need to make sure I get through this before a blood moon shows up and ruins my day. History of the Zora Part 2 A Reservoir of Hope, as told by King Dorfin. Once every 10 years, the Lanayru region experiences unusual heavy rainfall. The Zora River flooded every time. The tides damage not only our domain, but our people, washing away poor souls and causing great suffering and dismay. Disarray. The king, uh, the Zora king of that time, after seeking aid from the king of Hyrule, rode out to see what could be done. By joining the architectural genius of the Zora and Hyrule's technology, technological prowess, East Reservoir Lake was swiftly built. Thanks to this fruitful partnership, Hyrule was no longer plagued by these devastating floods. In gratitude, King, uh, the ki Zora King promised the King of Hyrule to manage the, the reservoir level to protect all of Hyrule from floods. Each Zora King since has kept that oath, spanning 10,000 years. That, that is why the reservoir signifies our bond with Hyrule. Very cool. Now, how do I get back up without sliding down? Is this just able to be climbed somewhat well? Hopefully. Oh my goodness, nope. Nope, 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 no. I might have to go around or figure out something else, possibly. It's not that far to reclimb. Uh, this, is, this is why I wasn't sure if I should do it or not. Because I think I have to go all the way around again now. But that's fine, I can glide fairway and then just sprint the rest. There are the boulders again. Don't hit me. And this one isn't even a problem because it just gets stuck in the way. I hope. Anyway. I'll just keep going. And I've almost made it back to where I died. So that's pretty good progress. Hey, the boxes have respawned. I'm pretty sure that happened because I died, though. So let me just blow those up and get materials back. Oh, ow, and lose materials because I have to spend them on healing myself. Since I blow myself up every single time I can, for some reason. Nothing? Or did it just send them flying to who knows where? Probably uh, sent to who knows where. This is a bad place to have an item in front of. Please. No. No. Button mashing. Why? I'm just going to leave the apple as an offering. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Through the rock. Okay. Anyway, we're back to where we were. And we're up to a bridge. So this could be... Another message from Prince Sidon. There's only one way to find out, and that's to keep walking or running. 
I'm gonna grab that, since that's useful. Luto's crossing. Surely. Surely. Surely? Maybe not? I guess not. Nope. There's a thing. Hey, Link! Look below, down here! You are still pretty far off, my friend. But I am... I was sure you'd be passing over this bridge, so I have been waiting for you. You'll be in Zora's Domain before you know it. In fact, I'm going to head that way too. I shall meet you there. Whoa, Link. Beware, warrior. A monster approaches from behind you. Why? Why? This only happened when... Oh! This only happened after he mentioned it. I'm pretty sure Poseidon's on the side of the monsters. Oh my goodness. I've already taken a picture of you? Okay, cool. Oh my goodness. Ah! Pain. Need some food. And maybe, uh, run away! Um, here, how about we, uh, drop that there, and then drop this here. And then he comes closer. And I blow him up. Oh, oh, the square one didn't go off. Oh, I've messed everything up. This is fine. I'm trying to avoid my bombs now? Yeah, how about... That. How about that? Okay. Oh my... His path just fell off the edge. Why? Why? I'm gonna grab that arrow. So I'm not wasting literally everything. Well, that was annoying. Anyway. Is there anything over here that I should know about? I don't think so. Although, there is a fair bit over here. Let's grab some of these. They give my they give me swiftness uh, stuff if I cook them, so... I did cook a few of those off-screen. Anyway, let's keep going. Now that all that's done. Following these cool torches. After just being tortured. I hear creaking and I'm concerned. If boulders get dropped onto me now, I don't think I'm going to survive. At all. At least there's another hearty radish thing over here. Add to my infinite collection of food. Okay. Oh, and there's also a deer up there. A mountain doe. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting shoots it down. Anyway. I mean, it's going to be useful for food, so... Especially if I cook it. Haven't had much raw prime meat before. Hopefully I won't have to do mass cooking stuff that much for a long while since I've just cooked a whole bunch. I mean, we have three full... almost three full pages. Oh, hello. Nice. Oh my goodness, okay. There we go, he's done. Easy. Okay, something over here that I haven't seen before. Wooden shield! So unlike anything we've ever seen before. I don't know how I missed it the first time, anyway. This lightweight, simple shield is ideal for less experienced fighters. It can withstand light, light attacks, but blocking stronger blows is not recommended. Traveler Sword, I'm pretty sure we've seen them before, but I don't think I've... Maybe I haven't. Have I picked this up before? Yes, I have. Of course I have, because it says the name. We just haven't taken a picture of it yet. There's another fire pit here if we needed it. 
Forkless Alpha Spear. It's very different, apparently, because it's forked at the end. Skilled Lizalfos war Lizalfos warriors tend to favor this spear. What it lacks in piercing power, it makes up for with the brutal wounds its dual uh, ripping blades will inflict. Okay. Well, that part smashed and the parts went flying. Okay. I think that's everything here that I need to actually look at, other than, I don't know, the boxes all around me. There's another thing over here we can read though, so let's have a look at that. History of the Zora. Addendum 1. King Dolphin stands his ground. After a hundred years, uh, around a hundred years after King Dolphin ascended to the throne, a stray guardian crossed up, upland Zorana into our domain. The guardian seemed unstoppable. Our best soldier's spear, spears barely left a scratch on its metal hull. It was then that our King Dolphin, without a thought for his own safety, came out to face the Guardian himself. With supernatural strength, he lifted the Guardian and hurled it into, the, into our ravine. The impact from the fall left the Guardian in pieces, and it was never to travel another Zora ever again. The citizens celebrated the King's valor from then on. Their trust and respect for him grew beyond compare. You can still see the scar he earn, earned that day on his forehead, a token of his triumph. Interesting. Very interesting. But anyway, let's keep going. We're so close now. So close. We just need to keep following this path a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. You can see some stuff over there. Blue Nightshade, I'm going to grab that. Oh, and a hearty radish. Which should respawn whenever there's a blood moon, probably. Anyway, let's go down this hill the best way I know how. Which is gliding, of course. I don't think there's any cutscenes that I need to worry about. But what I do need to worry about is that while I'm in midair, I can actually pull out my bow. And shoot. In slow time. As long as I have stamina. Oh my goodness, please. There we go. So, really cool. What is glowing? Sparkle? Sparkle? Oh, it's in the ground, isn't it? Hate it when that happens. Anyway, grab some of those, and let's keep moving. Since we're still getting very close. I could just glide down, but I'm just going to follow the path a little bit. You never know when there's a random cutscene of Prince Sardin telling you you're doing good. Is that something over there? Oh, those are squirrels. I need a picture of a squirrel. Treasure chest. Oh my goodness, did I scare the... No. Bushy-tailed squirrel. There we go. I think if I shoot him... It scares the rest, but I get... An acorn from that. Oh, and hello, treasure chest that's just in the ground. Have to use Magnesis to pull it out. Just pull it up, and there we go. Not getting hit by it in the process. Bummer times five. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Oh, and hello. Just gonna take you out as quickly as possible. And there we go. Have I taken a picture of this before? No, I have not. Moblin Spear. I'm willing to bet that I haven't actually picked it up before either. either. This wooden spear is most often used by moblins. It's made from hasty whittled tree, so its stabbing power and durability are both pretty low. In okay then. Lore. About everything. Everything has lore. And order. There's a thing over here. Oh, hello. Grab that restless cricket as well. Hark! Of Zork, parts of the hero who def defeated the light as to the King Dolphin. I'm not even going to read the rest. This is something that we need to keep in mind, though. 
So, Sora Helm, though, is highlighted. Time has taken its toll on this. We'll come back to that later and actually figure out what it's saying. There's another thing down there as well. And I might actually pin these. Oh, turn around, please. Okay, we can see the domain from here. We finally made it. But that's also probably it for now. So, next time, we're going to go in. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.